Welcome to the Combative Nerds Podcast. Join us while we break balls and try to outwit each other at every turn while debating all things nerdum and trying to make sense of this world. Look, I'm not going to lie. There's a Herculean task. I'm not sure we have enough brain powder to do so. At the very least, we can laugh and offend each other through the process. Thanks for sharing your day with us. Now on to our show. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ray Lance and not Maggot. Thank you so much for joining us today. Let's get the housekeeping out of the way. Please like, subscribe, share, follow. We got to say thank you so much to the MSF community. We've been trying you know, to get the word out there. We're small, startup, we're brand new, and you guys have shown us so much love. We are getting a little tick up in traffic, and I really think it's attributed directly to you guys. So thank you so much. So we promised you a long time ago about horror stories of MSF. And so not Maggot was asking me, like, what do you mean horror stories? Like, you walk away from your phone and then you come back and your kid's been using all these orbs or <laughs> coring stuff that was irrelevant. I'm like, no, 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 horror stories with other players. And he was like, okay, I think I have a, a few. So I want to start off this conversation with my ongoing horror story. So when I was a medium fish, I ended up becoming a captain of an alliance serial assassins. Loved everybody there. We had a lot of fun. The issue was with recruiting. Now, back in the day, old school, Two years ago, we didn't have, what was it, MSF GGG, that website where a lot of people do the recruiting. Yeah, MSF.GG. And then Discord, you weren't really, you know, only the higher end alliances or the clusters were doing recruiting there. So I would have to spend five to seven hours a week in global chat. And when I call it a cesspit of immoral souls... (laughs) That's being kind. What I would like in recruiting on global chat to be is like a chat log or discord server of the Game of Thrones. You got people being mean to each other. You got people talking about the worst things. If I would go 10 to 15 minutes without hearing somebody make an incest joke, that was a good day. And I just never understood why everybody just couldn't be civil and could it talk about the worst stuff in the world? Have you ever spent much time recruiting in global? Not in global. I've t- I, so smart. once Very we smart. had the alliance, like I just turned global chat off oh, God. because like you said, it is an absolute, like, I don't even know if there's words to describe the despair <laughs> of it's game of Thrones. Global chat. It's reading it. That's what reading game of Thrones books must be like. There's no way. There's so many broken, upset people. It was a shit show. Yeah. So, it, I mean, I, I I was recruited from Discord. So smart. So, I mean, it's awful. But you seem to like to flagellate yourself. <laughs> uh, so, go ahead and continue on this. He means beat myself, not the other one. <laughs> yes, like physically yes. harm myself, not the other type. Just yes, that was that. a reference back to the first <laughs> podcast we did, self-flagellation, the, the the monks. I remember, you know, of course I like to trash talk. Of course I can, you know, be gritty with my, or dark with my comedy. And I found that when recruiting, you, you kind of have to sell it. You kind of have to joke around with people. They know you have a sense of humor. You know, you got to win them over with your fun comments. And so I remember talking about something and the other person responding. And then I made an adult joke or an off-color joke. and. And then they said something, and I was like, hey, um, how old are you? And they're like, oh, I'm 10. And I'm like, I'm out. Thank you, South Park. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah, like, 16 is going to get you 15. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, I was, it wasn't those type of bad jokes. It was, it was just something I would, a joke I would not normally make to a 10-year-old. Jesus Christ, I forgot there's kids in here. What kind of parent is letting these kids talk on global? Oh. Yeah, it is awful. That is a, I feel as better as a person, like morally, that I no longer have to look at chat anymore because it was just awful. I remember one time we had this alliance mate and uh, he was quite the drinker and it's, it's relevant to the story. He was a great guy. Well, now that I just said that, I'm not going to say it's gamer type, but (laughs) 
So I just spent like two or three hours in chat, got somebody who joined, and they were a nice person, but they were one of those people who the minute they joined Discord, they were like posting Hello Kitty emojis and saying how wonderful the day was and just very happy, jovial person. So, you know, good for them. But in my experience with MSF players is, look, either you say something funny you bitch about the game or you explain why you didn't show up for whatever event there was. Other than that, I don't really have time for this crap, right? I want to be miserable because I'm playing this game. And this person was just, you know, happy and questions and wanted to make friends. So good for them. Oh, and I should say they were top three power level of our alliance because I was I joined my brother's alliance to help them out. So got this person in. They're starting to help us out. And I think a day later, this alliance mate who was also captain just kicked him. And I was like, why would you do that to me? Just block them or ignore them. And he's like, well, I don't understand. He was annoying. I don't get it. And so later when I left the Alliance and he and this other captain actually reached out to me and they said, hey, I've been having to recruit in global. I am so, so sorry what I did. <laughs> I didn't realize when you told me how much work you had to put in to farm this good player I had no concept of what that is. And and my penance is I'm having to be in global. Yeah, I think I've had in all of the, I guess what it's been almost two and a half, two, two and a half years, something like that, that I've been doing this. I had one random player join. Okay. And we were like, okay, who the hell is this guy? And so all the captains are chit chatting in discord and this guy doesn't have a discord. We don't know who the hell he uh, is, uh. but he's hitting raids. He's doing stuff. Okay. And so we were like, all right, well, we'll just leave him and see what happens. And I kept trying to message him in game. Like, Hey, get a discord. And he's like, what's discord. And I'm like, Oh boy, here we go. So we How keep old was he? eventually. Yeah. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> he's either I, too young or too old. <laughs> Yeah, it was bad. And so, like, all of us are sitting there, and I'm just like, okay, like, I don't even know what his roster looks like. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, you're but right. he's getting 600 tickets a day. So we just kind of let okay. him be. Yeah, fair enough. And so I tell him, look, you've, you, Discord's required for this alliance, which, again, it's shitty that you have to use another app yeah. to use a game. Yeah. But it, it, we'll leave that for later. And so trying to get him. And so I get him installed with Discord and, and he starts, you know, occasionally would be talking to me and messaging and stuff like that. So I'm like, look, you've got this shit, just this roster of God knows what he's got shit that just, I mean, at the time war machine was like fucking useless. And he had him at like gear 14 and I'm like, <laughs> Oh my God. And so Look, I try to be nice to people. I'm really like, I, I hate drama. I hate True. douchebags. True. I, I, you know, it's fun to have fun. Right. Yeah. But on the same token, I also try not to cross any lines with people. Right. Because everybody's from different parts of the world. Sure. Uh, you know, that sort of thing. But this guy, he, I'm like, look, we've got to put you a plan in place because you need to develop these certain teams. Otherwise you're not contributing enough yeah, yeah. to help the rest of the Alliance out. It's one thing to get the tickets. It's another thing to actually reach, you know, help the alliances get through raids yeah. and stuff like that. So, you know, and he was always so agreeable, S seemed like a very nice person. However, you would see him struggle in a raid and then you would see that he leveled up some character that's like, like Wolverine was useless at the mm. time. Now he's not Yeah, Wolverine was useless at the time. And you'd see him take him to like gear 14, gear 15. And we're like, so the captains are messaging me like, what the hell is this guy doing? And so we nicknamed him the pup because I kind of took him in as this stray puppy <laughs> and tried to domesticate this puppy. So <laughs> I would get messages from the captains. Like, what the fuck is your pup doing? And I'm like, I don't even know I'm driving right now. <laughs> I'm not sitting here watching this. Did he so, shit on the floor again? Weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it was bad. So again, I'm trying to be nice. This guy, we are trying to do like a hundred percent push or something like sure. that. And his one lane is left. Oh boy. And so all he's got to do is complete one more node. The other person on his lane team had completed the rest. Got it. And so all he needed was one note. We're like 99.79%. Uh, it's literally just sneeze and we get it. Yep. And those are always high stress for me. I hate them. Like I literally just like tension yeah. rising. Yeah. I hate it. So here we are. This guy can't do it. 
and I went off on him. Good for you. I was so upset because everybody else had healed and, you know, used cores and everything else. Yep. And I'm like, I bet you that gear 14 Heimdall and war machine really got <laughs> you through this fucking raid. And I said, I think it's, and that was at that point, I'm like, I think it's best we part ways now. Wow. Really? I said, I'm going to find you a replacement. Yeah. And so I'm like, look, I just, I, again, I tried to let him down easy. Cause again, he seemed like a nice guy. But did he not? It just did he not listen to your advice and still kept on leveling crazy people? Or he, oh, he would do it. He would listen to it. But then it was almost like like the the attention span of a goldfish. If I wasn't oh, every single day asking boy. him, "Hey, what are you working on now? What are you working on now?" Oh no, so that's too much work. Yeah, I I don't want to babysit anybody. I literally I to this day we'll call people out. And again, I don't call people specifically out because I think that's shitty and I will come down harder on someone, which I can tell you a story about that, but I will come down harder on somebody for calling another player out oh. because there's ways that you can say things that kind of let you kind of, Hey, like general encouragement, even if you might be thinking one person in particular. Oh yeah. I, I completely disagree. And with you. so <laughs> you just don't, I, I just group if I'm going to call you out, I'm going to come in, I'm going to slide into your DMs and I'm going to tell you what I think about you. But it's going to be unfiltered and it's going to be raw, right? <laughs> you and I met that way. Right, right. But but that's just so so that's kind of how I approach it. You know, but in group public settings, you don't call individuals out, especially if you're a captain or a leader. Yeah. And that was always my line in the sand. So, I was I was always in messaging. I think we had a conversation about this once. Yes, when I made you a captain. I no, I first said, um, please do not make me a captain because I'm going to do everything you said <laughs> that you don't want to be done because I'm I'm the asshole who would call people out. Now, I would still be your friend. I wouldn't I would berate the action, not the person. Right. I and you can talk to you should talk to IEG about this. I had a way of just ripping into people to get them to laugh at what they did without making them feel that I did not want them in the alliance. It was more like, yeah, it's okay that you're the you're the dumb stepbrother who can't get anything right. We still love you anyways, but don't do that again, please. But see, that's that's one thing. Like again, it, it, I feel like if you're doing that, you're you're kind of signing the waiver because normally sure. you're going to hit the guy that is is throwing it back at you, right? Yeah. And so those are the people like I'm one of those people where Look, I, if I accidentally cross a line with you because of, you know, your culture or something like that, I, it's not a, it's not to be intentionally offensive, sure. right? I may say something and it's like, I didn't realize like here where I am, maybe that's acceptable. Maybe it's not sure. for you. And I apologize for those things. Like oh, I, I own those things because I don't want to, eh, well, you know, <laughs> that's apologize. why you're not a leader. Exactly. <laughs> I, full so. disclosure, I said I, you shouldn't put me in charge. <laughs> but, but yeah, so I would... I would do that stuff, but I would also, I did not, I, and this is in personal life as well. I am not a huge fan of someone who dishes out insults and, and I agree you know, with you, just kiddings and shit like yeah, that. I agree. And the first fire, you know, the first time that somebody fires back, they, you know, get their feelings hurt. I'm like, look, yeah, no, if I you're agree. going to step into the yes. ring and you're going to throw haymakers, Absolutely. you're going to get punched back. Yeah. I, that's so. I agree. That's why anybody who does that should have self-deprecating humor. Because once they see that you insult yourself first, you're like, well, what else did you expect to happen here? Of course, it was going to be your turn at some point. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, you know, look, if you if you tell me out, out front, like, look, don't mess with me. Hey, you're off limits. Yeah. I'm not going to go intentionally poke you. But if you start throwing insults, I'm going to come down on you. Oh, of course. And, you know, so I did. I had a guy that... I had multiple, multiple conversations and I keep saying guy player. Cause I don't know for the most part, we do have some female players yeah. in our cluster and I love them all. They're fantastic. I love our people. Most of the people that are, are there, you would never know. And they're not even, they're not even assholes enough to call you a douche for calling them, sir, or, you know, something right, like that. Right. But anyway, so this player I had, had seen multiple times where he had called out other individuals in group sessions, in group chat. Okay. And I'm like, you can't do that. That's not acceptable. And I would take it, I message him in, you know, direct messaging. That's not acceptable. You can't do that. Don't do that. Define call out. Like, hey, you missed this raid today? Or is it, hey, you jerk, we didn't complete the raid because you didn't show up today. What's your problem? 
I would say it was kind of closer to the 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 latter. Ooh, okay, uh, yeah, that's, than the former. It's a bit rough. Where you know, and especially if you have a player that has messaged me directly and said, you know, hey, I'm going to be out today yeah, or something hey, like yeah, that. Yeah. Or we had players that that didn't play for certain days because of of personal reasons yeah. and stuff like all that. Fair. Or they had a kid. You know, all of these different things. So yeah. we have an absence notice channel, but on the same token, that guy wouldn't read those or, you know, before coming down on somebody. So somebody would post something and, you know, then, it, hey, they're off limits. Like, don't fuck with them. And this guy was literally, he went on a tirade of like two or three people Ooh. and was like, hey, you haven't done anything all fucking day. Like, basically, I don't know if it was, you know, whatever his, he must have. Had, had an issue yeah, that had day, day and took it out on everybody. Yeah. yeah. And the, it had been the second or third time that this had happened. And instead of taking it to DMs, because I'd told him strictly before, look, oh, and, you and, are okay. not to do this. Okay. It's unacceptable. Yep. It's you don't do that. You don't see me do that. I practice what I preach. You don't do that. Yeah. And so he came, he came out, called out multiple players and I blew the fuck up at this guy Good for in you. public. Good for you. And I literally, I was like, I said, you know, I tagged those same players. Hey, don't listen to this dumb fuck. He needs to sit down, shut up and color in the fucking corner with his dunce cap on <laughs> because he's on borrowed fucking time. Like, I mean, I ripped him a Good new one publicly. And I said, he's already been told that this type of behavior is unacceptable. And so, I mean, he then... Was like, well, dude, you just have to get all mad at me about it. And there's that. Oh, oh God. Like, you mean don't do exactly what you just did. Got it. Yeah, it's because I used obscene language. Yeah. Oh, I heard his feelings. That pisses me off the most. I've had so many fights with that people because clearly I have a potty mouth. And I tell people this way. If you are passively or through your actions telling me, fuck you, or I don't give a fuck about you, then how come I can't say that directly? Hey. Fuck you back. And oh, oh, you said a mean word. Asshole. Look at what you just did to me. I, I can't. That is one of my pet peeves where people, you know, try to claim the high ground because everything that they're doing is inferred or subtle. But you're just a jerk because you're actually calling them out and, and making that festering pimple brand bringing it to a head. Ah. Yeah. So, I mean, really and truly though, honestly, like those are probably the majority of the stories, you know, horror stories, so to speak. By and large, I would say that I've had a lot of fun and I've gotten to know a lot of great people from literally across the globe and ask them questions like, hey, what is it like in Australia? What is, tell me more about your culture. Help me understand and so for all the shit that, I mean, basically it's like the, all the bad that everybody kind of like, if you want salt, go to Reddit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Salt is abundant there. It's like the dead sea, <laughs> but by and large, if you're, if you're just talking to people, I've gotten to know people again, that's how you and I met. That's how this whole thing started. Yeah. Although I will say that, you know, that's probably Number one on the horror story list would be when I took you in as an alliance. <laughs> Pretty member. much, yeah. Uh, I caused a, a few you know, waves, uh, es- <laughs> especially on the way in, considering that they made you a captain just so you could shit talk us during a war when we were oh, going between each other. That. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Do you remember that story? Yeah, remember you were. <laughs> oh yeah, I had I had quite a personality on. On MSF. That's right. You should tell that story. So we had this inner, basically we had this rule where if you got matched up in war together, the, the captains and or the leaders would kind of discuss terms of uh, terms of engagement, sure. right? The rules of engagement. Are we going to use extra attacks or are we going to do, you know, use boosts? Are we going to do this sort of thing? And so me and the Raiders captain right. or alliance leader right. talk real quick. She's a sweetheart. And they kind of, she does, and and she passes me off to IEG because he was the war captain. Right. And so I'm like, okay, so me and IEG are talking. At the same time, we're like, okay, here are the terms that we're going to use. 
you had a player who loved yes. war. I mean, yes. gets a hard on for yes. war. Yes. And we both know who we're talking yes. about. He's great um, at it. Yeah. And so the problem is, is he's not as good at reading discord. No. So <laughs> I saw where the Alliance leader pings your entire Alliance and says, Hey, no boost, no extra yep. attacks. We're just going to do yep. this, you know, basic free attacks only. Yep. I ping the same thing. <laughs> And no sooner does that go out, dude starts literally hammering out like 10 attacks. And I'm like, what the fuck? This is, this is the first hour of war. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. He was an overachiever for sure. And so, so we start doing this. And I'm like, okay, that guy did that. All right. We're going to just chalk that up. I eventually got to a point where I went into our... Uh, captain's chat and I said bury these motherfuckers <laughs> because I was like I just want to beat the shit out of them because they clearly don't follow rules they don't know what the fuck's going on and your alliance leader is like apologizing over and over and over again meanwhile IEG is like I don't know what to do at this point like half the people don't do anything. We should, we should also clarify your alliance was quite stronger than ours. <laughs> so it's not like we were <laughs> nipping your heels at that point. We were not going to win unless you allowed us to. So then when this guy went full blown, you're like, Oh, gloves are off. Oh okay. yeah. The gloves. Yep. <laughs> yep. And I literally just went, I want them fucking dead. <laughs> so at that point, I just kind of pinged, the Alliance leader and IEG. And I'm like, guys, this is clearly a fucking shit show. <laughs> yes. Holding these people back is clearly impossible because now every time somebody buys an attack on your side, ours is buying one. And then it's just becoming this death spiral of chaos. I'm like hurting oh, cats. I think is the term <laughs> you're looking for. Yeah. So it became this, uh, this old deal. And, uh, so then once all of that was going on, I thought, okay, everything's put to bed. We're good. All of a sudden, I start getting these. I'm in my garage working, and I get a ping from this random person, and it's Raider Lance. <laughs> Just talking shit, and... and No hello, like, I, no I probably it. No, no hello, no hi, this nope. is who I am. <laughs> it's like, here's my nuts. <laughs> no, no warnings whatsoever. You just kind of dropped in and start hammering me. At the same time, I get a message DM from your alliance leader that's like, Lance has been dying to trash talk. <laughs> and so I promise I will strip his captain's tag and I've told him to keep it civil. <laughs> and I said, I said, let him have his time. <laughs> and you got the captain's chat. We were going back and forth. That's right. They promoted the captain's chat for that. <laughs> so that you could get in there and talk <laughs> shit to me. That's how bad I baked her for a couple hours. I'm like, no, I can do this. I can thread this needle. I can insult and make a Put friend. Put me in, coach. Yeah, I can insult and make a friend <laughs> at the same time. Oh, I forgot about yeah, that. It was, oh, it was so funny, though, because you kind of, like, she was like, hey, you know, like, I told him to take it easy. And I'm like, don't do that. Don't handicap the man. Yeah. <laughs> just, just let him go. And she's like, I promise if he gets too out of line, I will revoke his tag. I said, well, I can revoke it too. It's yeah. not a problem. Yeah. I was like, I can always block him or whatever. And so she's like, okay, you asked for it. I'm going to let him have because it. Because she had already known my style for a couple months by then. Yeah. Yes. I can, I yes. can respectfully insult people. I, it's, it's a skill that I've honed for many, many years. I think you might have even messaged me and said something about, hey, just so you know, like, I don't mean anything by this. Like, you might have, because you you and I didn't know each yeah. other. Yeah, no, And so here stranger, you come out just swinging. Yeah, complete stranger just, just going for the throat and insulting your alliance. Like, I think every attack you guys made, I'm like, really? It took that much? You had to overshoot it that much? I would just, yeah. I spent, I lost a day. Oh, yeah. And it was... Very gratifying. Just, just learn. Yeah. <laughs> and I, oh, it was so much fun though, because I think one of the things that I enjoyed the most was just having that because we would shoot shit with each other back and forth, right. but it wasn't, it was never really any way to actually like with the other party, you know? Yes. So like, I remember when we came across IEG early in the war 
Yeah. And I'm Big like, defense. one shot. Oh, he was stacked. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, uh, and, and so I tagged him and I said, hey, we're coming for you. Yeah. Just to be a dick. And he goes, bring it. I need these defensive holds. Yeah. We one shot every one of his defenses <laughs> out of pure principle. Yeah, it was it was a fun war where we would go up, you would go up, and then we were buying attacks. That was the so IEG myself and that third player were pretty much the stalwarts of war. The rest of the alliance was just, you know, all right, we'll participate a little bit here and there, but they weren't just killers when it came to war. I always liked war, but I wasn't too big on it. Me and IEG both like war, but then me and IEG before we came to you. We were with Dad Bros, and I forget they're gone now. But there's a bunch of great players, and those guys were maniacs at war. So I think you combine me having that four months with Dad Bros doing war and just being with savages, and then all my experience doing martial arts. You're like with Fighter Wizard. He's one of my great friends. As I'm strangling him and talking to him and trash talking him after, like I'm just very comfortable in that. Be friendly, be respectful while you're just hurting other people. <laughs> it's very fun. I wish every war was like that. Yeah, I don't know if there's been one that's been as much fun because I think we've done a couple of inner cluster battles like that. And the other ones were pretty you know, muted. mediocre. Yeah, and muted. I think we actually, we, we, learned, we learned from yours. The next time we came up against another alliance, I just pinged him and said, look, I said, I've been through this. This is not going to work. Can we just do full war? <laughs> it's true. It's very true. Yeah. I think you might have been in the alliance at the time <laughs> that that happened. And I was just like, there's no way we're going to stop this. There's no way. I'm P.S. A... If you want somebody to shit talk you, let me let me introduce you to Lance. Oh, I am. Um, okay. So I should never be a leader. And I accepted that right off the bat. I'm a fun captain to have. It's kind of like, you know, the drill sergeant. But when I found out that it did not charge you any course to change the alliance name, I was like, you have to promote me to leader so I can shit talk via alliance name during wars. <laughs> and they were like, no, we will not give you leadership. There's no way we're letting this happen. And then <laughs> IEG made a policy. He said, you cannot start trash talking the other team because I would go into global. I would search for other players on that team so I could DM them directly and trash talk them. And he was like, you are not allowed to trash talk until we have secured victory. So there was like a hard, fast rule that I could only trash talk maybe at best 10 minutes into, before the end of war. I just, I loved it so much. It made it so much, so much more fun. Yeah, it's funny that you have to make games out of a game. Yeah. <laughs> Because the game is so bad. <laughs> well, I have one other story, uh, horror story for you. We're short on time. It's not as funny, but it is shows you how crazy this game can get. So when I was with IEG back in Serial Assassins, we had a female leader. She was very nice. Still talk to her occasionally. And we had this one player, former military. Unfortunately, one of those typical cases where he was probably had a little bit PSTD. But I always made nice with him. He really didn't talk or get along with other people. He was a Canadian small-time actor, pretty big guy. And he was one of those people who tried to invent meta teams where he would just mix and match random people that never worked. But he was a, a larger power level player, so he wanted to be on the bridge. He loved war, and he would just have defensive teams where you're like, what is he going for here? That there's... Not only is there no synergy, but there's no sense. You're just putting your largest players together and hoping that they work. And so he would go MIA every once in a while. He, he was not a team player. And he was pretty abrasive when he would actually talk. And, you know, he took a couple shots at, at the leader. And so I was the only one on good terms with him. And so... Every once in a while, I'd be like, hey, man, you know, why don't we try this? Or how can I do this and try to help him out in whatever way I could? So one day, he's having a bad day, and he just goes off on our leader. And she takes it personal. But in my experience, female leaders in MSF hate kicking people. Every time I've had a female leader, it's always been like pulling teeth to get them to kick non-performing or problem players. And so you could call me kick happy. 
right? I, I go too far the other way. So me and her were probably a good middle ground. But it was clear that he insulted her. It was clear that he wasn't going to be a team player. So I said, all right, executive decision. I want to kick him. Give me the green light. She was like, okay, go for it. I said, okay, now that you've agreed to it, you do it. He insulted you. So she was like, no, I can't do that. I can't. I'm like, ah, whatever, fine. So I kicked him. So then he DMs me and he just goes off into a pure roid rage. You, you mf -er, you this, you that. If I ever find you, if I ever see you, I'm going to beat your ass. It just full blown meltdown. And so I DM'd him back and I said, uh, hey, hold on. Just one second here. I understand you're frustrated. I understand you're mad. It was me. Here's the reasons why. Okay. So that's the game portion of it. Now, the real life portion of it, you're an actor, right? So you come down to Hollywood. Here's my address. Let's go find a gym and I'll be your Huckleberry because you're not going to talk to me like you that. did not. Absolutely. Fuck them. And much bigger than me. By the way, this was back when I was in full fighting shape and all that other stuff. But I was like, yeah, let's do it. I'm not going to fight him on the street. I'm not insane. And he was probably going to smash me. But I was like, you can't just tell me that. We've talked before like that. Let's go. He blocked me immediately. And what pissed me off the most is because this was an in-game chat because he was not a Discord user. Once somebody blocks you, you lose your old chat log. Is that correct? At least when he blocked me, I immediately lost my chat log. So I couldn't take pictures of this because I wanted to show everybody. I have no clue. I don't use in-game. I hate in-game. It's awful. Yeah. So that was my one horror story where I literally almost got into a fist fight and probably would have gotten my butt kicked over MSF. <laughs> I I can't believe that you actually like gave the guy the address. Yeah, fuck him. That's crazy. What was he going to do? Fight me? That's exactly what I was ready for. Now, he was former military. I don't think he could smuggle weaponry from Canada to here. But yeah, I, I was down. I already have my mouthpiece. What do I Canada care? to California. I don't know if there's much weaponry that you could call weaponry. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Very, <laughs> very good point. That is a different conversation. So, yeah. So, we're ending this basically that I'm stupid. And I like to trash talk. <laughs> and hopefully you guys like to listen to both of us talk. So, any last words? Man, I like I said, I just want to thank everybody for listening. It's been fun. Yep. Yeah, if we... You want to hear us more about the the trials and tribulations and fuck ups of Scopely? We could <laughs> probably fill a lot more airspace, but uh, I'm excited to see what other ideas we come up with uh, here in the future. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, we'll wrap this one up. And if you guys are willing to listen, we are willing to talk. Catch you later. Bye. That's it. That's our show. Hey, all you MSFers out there, not Meg and myself are working on a new show called Mobile Game of the Week. We still got quite a few details to iron out but we would love it if you joined us once it launches. Please do us a favor and like, subscribe, share this podcast so we can get some traction. Once I get around to it, check us out on our socials, Combative Nerds on Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. You know the deal. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you next episode.